All right, everybody, this is your boy Trey with Let's Just Talk Fitness, man. And I, again, have an amazing person here that um, I'm going to capture this story and try to share it the best way I can. But again, it really needs no hard work in bringing it out because the God's content and he himself, I think, speaks for uh, his journey and his story. But with that said, man, make sure that you like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, again, comment below if you have questions or you have comments um, from the video um, as well. Also, hit me up, DM me if you want to do what my guy here is doing today, and that is sharing your fitness story, sharing your fitness journey, um, trying to get your story out and inspire other people. Also, man, I got something real big that I just dropped today. Um, again, I'll, I'll talk to you more about it toward the end of the video, but um, it has something to do with Facebook groups and a community I'm putting together. So if you also are serious about coming together um, and being amongst a group of people who are really, truly trying to inspire others through their story and journey as well and grow with other people as well, hit me up in regards to that as well. But with that said, man, let's go ahead and get right on into it. Jay, bro, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? Bro, doing all good, man. And again, man, I appreciate you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for um, just allowing yourself to be, you know, transparent and an open book and coming on Let's Just Talk Fitness, man, and truly being willing to, to share your story. You know what I'm saying? I know that's not something that's that's easy to do for a lot of people that I interview. So the first yeah. question I do want to ask you just to kick it off is what made what made it so so easy and simple for you to just hop on here and just say, let's do it like you. Yeah, you, you didn't bat an eye, bro like <laughs> <laughs> um well first off thank you obviously for like taking the time out of your day also to, to interview me you know what I mean like I know you got all these people and reaching out to you things like that um and then for even just acknowledging my, my content in itself um <clears throat> but as far as like being able to just like say like you know talk and and being able to come on and you know share the story or you know what I do as far as mm -hmm. and why I do it um I've always been able to talk, you know, especially, you know, being an athlete, things like that and um, doing other interviews yeah. um, from, oh man, hold on. I got a cramp. Oh. Yeah. Hey, gotta get it out, man. Get it out. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, um, like I said, as far as like me being able just to like hop on and, you know, just say yeah to, to doing the interview. Yeah. Um, like I said, I've, with sports, uh, all the way through just doing regular fitness interviews i've done uh like stuff with like airsoft video interviews things like that right, so yeah. uh i've i've been especially the last like year i've been in a lot of camera space wow. you know um as far as that it was non non-football related right, you know right, right, right. um which was pretty cool um you know just in itself because i was like there's a whole nother world out here exactly. you know yeah. um but then obviously with like the football thing, mm. it was like, you, you've always seen it, you know, growing up Absolutely. ESPN, things like that. Yeah. So it was just kind of like, all right, let me just, this is normal, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Um, obviously like my very first interview, I was like Ricky Bobby, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to do with my hands, I don't, yeah. you know, you know, uh, 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 yeah. you know, so, uh, but after that, it's just like, you know, I don't think about the camera. I don't think about what's on the yeah. other end. It's just yeah. I'm conversing with another human bro. being right next to me or in front of me. So, mm. yeah, love it, bro. I love that, man. I love that. And 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 just I kind of want to highlight this just because, you know, I take pride in, 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 in people like you who come onto my, my, my platform and, you know, y'all have been involved in something big. This guy was in arena football, right? Yep, yep. arena football man like that yep. and that that right there in and of itself i've never had or interviewed someone that was that played arena football not even professional yep. football but um arena football bro that's to me that's even more aggressive than professional in a lot of instances like arena is bro yeah. y'all like and, and you know i know we'll get into it i don't want to jump too much but yeah that's 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 a sport right there that i told myself i never play like i was just like you know like <laughs> I, like i ain't doing it. you know what i'm saying like, yeah. like yeah, you know what's crazy? I yeah. didn't even know about arena football. What? Yeah. So I like growing up, I knew that there was like the NFL, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I knew there was Canadian football. Mm. That was the extent of my like professional like knowledge. Of it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? Um, and then I think it was like my junior year. Mm. I found out about like the Germany teams because like I had like an uncle that played like basketball in Germany and stuff wow. like that. 
And I was like, I wonder if there's like Germany football. There is. There is. You wow. know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, there's like a whole rundown with that. And then uh, I was like, okay, cool. This is this is pretty dope. Yeah. And then uh, I think right around that same time, mm. um, who was it? L.A. came out with an arena football team. Mm. L.A. came out with an arena football team. It was ran by uh, Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons. Okay, was, yeah. From uh from Kiss. Okay, right? okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't I don't remember the team name. It was like the L the LA Kiss. LA Kiss. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wow. So it was the LA Kiss. And then that's when I like really found out about it. Wow. And I was in North Carolina at the time. So I was like, what is this? Yeah, right, 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 right. And one of my boys had like gone out to go try out. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, I'm thinking it's like a weekend warrior thing. Right, like, right, right. You exactly, know? exactly. And he's like, he's like, no, man, like, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to get paid. And I was like, man, what for what? Like, what is yeah, this? Yeah. And when I looked into it, I was like, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, I graduated. And then my agent was like, hey, you might have to go play arena. Wow. Like, they want you to go play arena wow, wow, wow. and do all this. And then, um, so I was like, all right. And then, um, I was doing so well with that that I was going to go to Canada, mm. and then from Canada, mind you, by the time, by the time I was done with football, I was only twenty seven. What? Right? That's crazy. So, so not was, that long like, ago. No, it's not that long You're thirty one. Yeah. What the yeah. heck? <laughs> so it wasn't that long ago, right? So I was supposed to go to Canada um, that following year, but obviously I got hurt. Yeah. And then plans changed, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so like I said. Found out about all that, and then I was like, okay, if I go to, if I can go to Canada, uh, then you know, and do well out there. Next stop, yeah, we in the league, baby. in the league, you know? yeah, so, exactly, you know, exactly. As long yeah. as I don't, as long as I don't play for you know the Raiders, I'm happy. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know? do that, and. <laughs> you know, you had to go there, there man. You know the Raiders, or back then the Bengals, like the Bengals, yeah, 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 like, yeah, you yeah. know, but. That was kind of like the, that was like the cool little goal, but at the same time, yeah. it was like, well, if I don't go that far, like I'm giving this till I'm like thirty, like I think I said thirty three, like thirty two, thirty three, wow. wow. you know. So like literally in the next two years would technically be like the time I would like be hanging up the cleats. Hanging up the cleats. So, uh, but obviously, you know, God had different plans for me. Yeah. You know, so yeah. it is what it is. So, <clears throat> I guess, you know. man. Yeah. Let's let's take it back a little bit, Jay, man. Because again, man, I know I know people are probably very interested. I got I got a lot of people that you know are, are, you know into football and to have you on yeah. here and you know have you in arena, man. I'm sure they are already probably looking up your name. Um, where are you from? Are you because I know you're on West Coast right now, but are you, you've yeah. always been on the West Coast. Are you born on the West Coast? Where where are you from? Yes, so um, I am born and raised in Riverside, California. Wow. Um, so. Where we kind of say, like, it's so funny because everybody's like, oh, you're in California. Like, you're close to L.A. Like, no. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. so where where my city sits, yeah. we're like, we're like in between everything. Wow. So, so like, uh, if you go 45 minutes north of us, mm. you're going to hit, like, what they call, like, Orange County or, like, the beach cities. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, add another, like. 15 20 then you're mm -hmm. then you're in la, LA. yeah right yeah so um and then if you go south uh about an hour south that's when you hit like san diego it's like yeah. sea worlds and all that mm -hmm. so we sit like it's like right in between you know wow, bro. um so yeah so grew up out here played football ran track um ah. too aggressive for basketball i found that what? out very early Whoa. yeah and it's crazy because now i'm playing basketball but i'm like it's right like, it, in the gym, no no ref rules, you know. Right. So, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, like, like shoot the ball, shoot. <laughs> exactly. So you know, people getting tackled trying to dunk. Yeah. You're not coming. You're not dunking on me. I'm sorry. So, um, <laughs> let's see. So yeah. So I mean, I played just about every sport growing up. Uh, my family's actually a big baseball family. So like oh, for wow. me, I was a I was a. Uh, Wow. Yeah, I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum yeah. on that. You know? So uh, I tried baseball. It was just boring, you know. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I can, like, I'm cool with, like, outfield, and I'm cool-ish batting, mm. but I was just bored. So I'm like, okay, yeah. this is taking too long. Because if the ball don't come back there, I'm 
left field or center field, and the ball's staying right there. Right, right, I'm bored. right I'm true. Kicking, true. I'm kicking true. Kicking dirt. Right. You, know? you draw I'm your name off my glove. Right. <laughs> draw your name in the dirt. It's just like you exactly. know <laughs> exactly. You know, like butterflies. Like I'm just like man. So never really got into baseball like that. Wow. My son is going ham over there. Um, so, uh, yeah, did that. Um, I had a little, I had a little like extreme sports stint for a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. like the rollerblades and all that. So I've always been active, like always been doing something, you know? Um, I think I tried, oh, I tried water polo for a season too. Oh, wow. Like in high school, like, yeah. So I was like one of like two black people in my school that could swim. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah bro, 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 I already know that. I already know. <laughs> That's so how I was like, like I was like, cool. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. when people started trying to dunk people on a wall, I was like, "No, nah, I'm cool. This ain't for me." <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just trying to get a letter in something in right. everything. You know, right. so. Um, but yeah, so did I you, like, did all did you that. Skate? Did you skateboard? I used to skateboard. I'm not sure. You over so, there in the West Coast, so yeah. <laughs> so that was the one thing I had trouble with. Like I could, I could kick, push, and ride. Yeah. yeah. But ask me to do a trick. Right. No. <laughs> No, no. Uh, remember the old Disney movie Brink? It was like an old Disney movie. It was a skate, like rollerblade movie. Oh, I think I do remember Brink, man. Yeah. So I would kill me for said, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, no, that was like I was like like rollerblades, bikes, yeah. BMX. Yeah, I was all about it. Wow. Like, man. but uh, yeah. So I did that for a little bit. But yeah. So anyway, got to high school. Yeah. Um, a lot of people got mad at me because i went to the school it was like a crosstown rival mm. and i went to that school instead of the school that i was supposed to but the school that i went to i'm also a legacy at oh, like wow. my grandpa went there my cousins wow. they all played wow. sports so i was like yeah. i'm gonna go there and play. yeah so um and it worked out well for me because wow. if i went to to the other school like i one i probably would have been in more trouble mm. two i definitely wouldn't have got as much playing time as i did you know mm. what i mean so yeah 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 um so anytime I played that school, it was mm. like, like lights, camera, action. Oh, was, they were they wanted to kill you, time. man. Right. Yeah, it was showtime for real. Um, like I think the first, because I went, like I started playing varsity as a freshman. Yeah. And then I didn't get that much PT. I had enough, but not a lot. Yeah. And then my sophomore year, we played and we played that school again, mm. and uh, and we played them at their home field and we beat them like quadruple overtime. <sighs> Like it was like crazy, and we like we hold on to it like in oh every year too. Like goodness. junior year smacked, oh my <laughs> senior goodness. year smacked us like so it was cool, you know. But um, uh, yeah. So out of there, I left. Uh, went to East Carolina. Mm. Uh, you know, went to school out there. Uh, all four years, and yeah. then left, and then uh, hit arena, wow. and then I played arena. Until I was 27. 27, man. So yeah. when, when did you start Arena? Arena was what, 20, 23? 21. 20, 21. 21. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's a real good time, man. That's a that's a yeah. good amount of time. Like, yeah. That's yeah. not that's not some, you know, just basic, you know, in, in one year out the other. Like that is yeah. you got some pretty good amount of playing time that allowed you, I think, to at least know if that's what you wanted to do. You know? Yeah. And the reason why I even started doing arena too was because like uh my senior year I had some shoulder issues. Like I had a lot of cartilage buildup, you know, because a lot of people don't understand like when you play collegiate mm-hmm. sports, like it's it's really about like your like mentality behind it. They're like, okay, look, if you're yeah, you're are you hurt or are you injured? Mm-hmm. You know? Okay, if you're just hurt and you're like, oh like yeah, again, shoulder, right? Yeah did it pop out no okay or you get to play you're like man it hurts mm-hmm. they like you're either gonna play yeah, you're gonna lose spot. Yeah, exactly. you know so it's like all right cool well let me just keep putting you know yes. go back out there but little do you know you like i tore a rotator cut you know what wow. i mean like it's like you wow. don't know these things and then like it's just healing on its own on its own like, why yeah. can't i you know so i had all this like cartilage build up stuff like that so when i did my physical for uh the nfl they were yeah. like your liabilities right now like oh we need, wow. to, we need to know that you can actually sustain mm. you know so that way they're like you're good so i was only supposed to do three years yeah you know i was only yeah. supposed to do three years and then um because my first year i kind of like sat you know mm. played but kind of sat because i'm still kind of learning the game 
Yep. And then uh, started uh, year two, year three, mm. right? And then uh, I was like, okay, cool. I'm thinking like, you know, they're like, okay, like we should, we need to see more. Mm. Okay. How much more you need to see? Right, so, right, right. You know, fast forward at this time, I'm like, so fast forward a few years, uh, three years, I ended up becoming like 26 after like, so it was like three years, then I just kept going, kept going, kept wow. going. 26, I get a call from the Hamilton Tie Cats, and wow. they're like, hey, give us one solid year. It was like going into like me turning 27. They're yeah. Like, hey, uh, give us a solid year. Like, you know, we like what we're seeing. Da, da, da. Mm. Uh, I went out there to kind of go set, check out like what they had going on. Mm. Uh, and it's crazy because they like their rules are a little bit NFL style mixed mm. with um, arena. Arena. So, yeah. um, so you're playing NFL like field, mm. you know, um, but you can do like uh, this is the point system is a little bit different. Things yeah. Like that. Yeah. So anyway, um, and then like you have a bigger end zone. Oh wow! You know what I mean. Wow, so like, your end zone will be, so like, if you ever watch one, like you'll see them like throw the ball between the uprights, mm-hmm. and they'll catch it. Boom! You're like, oh, that's out of bounds. And it's like, nah, they're already in the end zone. A, yeah, that's a six. <laughs> like you know, so, <laughs> so what the heck? Game, you know? Yeah. Um, and so uh, anyway, so uh, I was like, cool, good. Yeah. Uh, I want to say it was like end of july maybe mm. august mm. Of, of 2017 yeah um i got into i got in a, like a bad car accident mm. right i was on my way to go see my girl like uh uh i came up from san diego actually i came up from san diego wow i was coming to riverside and uh it was like a surprise thing right so Man. on my way up here again in this crate like i'm telling you, crazy car. like i'm in a neck brace uh i broke i broke two ribs on one side cracked another um what else there is what else happened the ribs so i had the rib the neck brace and that was basically about it and i think i was concussed but i'm not too sure you know what i mean so um no fatalities no fatalities Uh, so what happened was my uh my brakes, I had a Honda Civic, right? Oh, it was like oh, a wow. brand new Honda Civic too. Mm. And um, my brakes had went out. Oh, man. Right? On a Honda brakes Civic? Were, yeah. So here's the thing. I had just had a maintenance service, right? Oh, my goodness. It just, it was just, honestly, like 2017 was just like a, a year of freak accident. <laughs> okay. So, so um, I'm driving. I see the red light. I'm like slamming on my brakes, slamming on my brake. And I'm like, yo, why is it like it's not oh, stopping? Man. And I'm coming, I'm coming downhill. And then this car was turning and this, we just we collided, boom. And uh my all my airbags deployed, every single last one, right? So I was like, okay. All I remember was getting out, like my head's ringing. Like I got out of the car. Then um the car in front of me. Like I, I went to go make because I could hear crying. I remember hearing mm-hmm. crying and I went to go check. Mm-hmm. And when I opened up the door, like everybody's like, oh, like I'm good. Like everybody was good. And then like I took like another step and I just I dropped in the middle of the street. Boom. Wow. That's all I, that's what I remember. And then I was in the hospital. I woke up, yeah, in the hospital. And then yeah, after that, it was just like wow, bro. You know, like yeah. a series of events, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then um so had that happen and my job was like i was honestly surprised like the doctors were surprised i had the injuries that i had because like i was i was so in shape like mm-hmm. i had you know i think at the time i was like maybe like 12 11 body fat like, oh wow all wow. muscles like, i'm yeah. i'm a, like straight athlete you know so yeah. they're like like for him like they were saying like the the injury should have been more more yeah you know yeah yeah so for for how fast i was going and then like the injuries that i did have thank god man so, yeah right Oof. so um and then uh so fast forward it's like i want to say it was like eight eight weeks later mm. like eight to like 12 weeks later yeah uh we, we go to the doctor the doctor's like oh you held up like you're good so mm. i was like oh, i'm good he's mm. like yeah Mind you, we'd already so we had already gotten into season at this time too. Yeah. So he was like, "Yeah, you're good." 
he's like, I recommend. He's like, I recommend. No, he's like, you can play, but I don't recommend it. Like, I okay. recommend that you give yourself a little bit more time to heal. Okay. So mm. that way, they're like, you know, like you can make good. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Me, because I'm stubborn. Like, I'm a tourist, <laughs> so I'm like, I was like, oh, but you said I'm good. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all you heard. You just, <laughs> yeah, you just gave me recommendations. So yeah. like, my girl, my grandma uh my cousins my boys they're all like bro just sit down i'm like no nah, like we just lost last week like mm. this is like i'm thinking like bro i'm trying to get to canada like mm. you know what i mean yeah. like, like trying to get to I'm, elite i'm yeah. thinking i'm thinking mm-hmm. like for my next step mm-hmm. so uh i go uh i have to go through like this like physical stuff yeah and they're like oh are you good mind you i'm like sucking wind yeah <laughs> you know, like, two months i've done anything so I'm yeah like, you know they're like all right like are you sure i was like yeah no i'm good you know uh i was like it's a little uncomfortable but i'm fine they're like, okay so then they clear me they're like okay he's cleared he's he's good mm. I'm like, all right cool so then uh my coach coach driver like dude's like probably the dopest coach i've ever had hey. uh, and we actually he came from uh ecu with me mm. and so um he he was like hey like he's like i know he's like, i know you're a tough kid he's like but you really should like sit out wow right this was wow. like the last person to tell me this right mm. so i'm like coach no <laughs> you know i was like i was like i got it i'm good <laughs> and so he's like all right so we start playing and like i'm going off like first quarter uh by by the by the end of the first quarter i had already had like i had like two turnovers i had like oh, five dang. or six yeah, I had like five or wow. six tackles. Wow. Um, I had a fourth fumble, like Dang. in the first quarter. Like, yeah, <laughs> our offense was getting worked. So mm-hmm. it was like, bro, we out on the field a lot. A lot. But yeah. it was like, then we coming back off. And then yeah. Back on. so I'm like, all right, cool. So I'm like, feeling good. Mm. And then uh, second half comes, uh, I get another pick. I had a fourth fumble, fourth fumble recovery in the wow. end zone. Wow. Right. And then I had another, I had another tackle. So now oh, you feeling cool. yourself, man. Yeah, you feeling yourself. Hey. I know. Yeah. Oh, oh, I was like, ain't nobody bro, telling like, you, yeah. Yeah. I was like, y'all ain't telling me that. And I was telling them that y'all ain't telling me nothing. Like, <laughs> oh y'all, like y'all can't lock in. Like y'all can't lock in one, two, three games without me. Y'all can't lock in. Like, I was like, I was man, I was feeling yeah, it. Yeah. So then uh my boy 12 is laughing. I have my one my boy, he's a quarterback, like yeah. he's cracking up. He's like, man. He's like, you are a fool. Right? <laughs> so I was like, man. And then uh, so then my driver, he's like, hey, uh, he's like, hey, you're going off. He's like, I just, I, we're going to sit you second half. Mm. I was like, all right. Like yeah. at this point, I'm cool because I'm like, mm-hmm. low key, I'm tired. Yeah. Like, I'm, you yeah. know what I mean? And I'm like, getting, like, I'm danged up a little bit. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. Uh, next couple plays go by. They go the opposite direction of me. And then, uh, I'm looking at the field and I'm like, oh, they about to run it. Mm. Oh, and they're about to run it. And this running back, like the running backs in the arena, they're not, they're like Jerome Bettis. They're not yeah. your average. They're like, not, they're not. Yeah. yeah. They're not like yeah. a Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, you know, man. they're not, they're not built like Darren Sproul. These yeah. dudes are dogs. Yeah, right? bro. Yeah. So I'm like, I see it. And I was like, and I tell my end, I'm like, hey, you have to crash in. Like yeah. we have, a, there's, there's, a, we had a work. So I'm like, like tell him like crash in, come in, yeah. come in. Yeah. Because if he goes in, I'm gonna take the outside. So mm. um ball snapped my in who mind you, he's a rookie. Okay. Oh man. Damn. He goes, <laughs> he goes out. Okay. Uh, so that's what you're doing. Him, yeah. Right. So we're yeah. both going out, and yeah. then I see the run. So I'm I adjust because he's getting worked. So yeah. I adjust and I come down and we meet in the gap, right? But when we meet in the gap, uh, we like twist, and because I'm like I'm like trying to turn with them, and I felt a pop, mm. right? And I'm like, okay, like I don't know what this is, and we hit the ground, and everything kind of went black for a second. You know, pain, pain just rushes. Yeah. So everything went black, and then for a split second, my head, co- I hear my head coach. I all I hear him say is, "Oh shit, look at his arm," right? So. I'm trying to get up. Like, I'm like, all right, let me get up, right? Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I right, right, keep going, man. <laughs> so uh, I'm trying fans, to get up. Man. I uh, I go to grab 
but you know like when you're on the ground like when you go to grab to get up like you use both hands right? yes yeah so i'm using but i still have at this time i still have feeling in my hand mm -hmm. so i'm trying to get up like i grab the ground mm -hmm. right but as i grab the ground i grab the back of my helmet because my hand <laughs> my hand is turned around <laughs> behind me like this and my co i hear my head coach he was like i don't think his hand's supposed to be like that <laughs> like, he's just kind of talking and so then they like they sit me up and when they sit me up they bring my hand back around, right and like game stop like people are like oh like what the heck mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so then the ambulance guy comes and then he's like oh are you good he's like how many fingers am i holding up i'm like bro like, i didn't i'm not unconscious right. <laughs> like i'm good right and so then i was like low-key though my hand feels kind of funny like mm. and then he's like they're like yeah it was all the way behind you i said oh it's just dislocated just pop me back in because that's what it felt uh, like that's what it felt remember, like yeah i just felt the pop yeah so they were like what i was mm. like dude just pop me back in i'm good wow they're like they're like my driver, right? My, the, my defensive coach was like, you're not Ray Lewis. Like, go to the doctor. <laughs> I was like, just pop me back in. Pop me back pop, in. Oh. Hey, they pop, they pop it in. And when they popped it in, my arm swelled up like a balloon. They were like, yeah, now you go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. I go to the doctor. Um, I do the x-rays. And I have a humorous break, spiral break. Mm -hmm. And my elbow had been dislocated. Like you, you could see the the signs that I had a dislocation in my elbow. Mm. They wanted to do surgery right then and there, but my brother had came and he was like, "No, he's too swollen." Like, yeah, you yeah, know. And yeah. I'm all hopped up on pain pills. Like I was actually yeah. talking smack to the doctor. Like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, "Oh, you tall?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he, but he was Oriental, so like, you know, I'm I'm making jokes. Right, you know? right. Yeah, should definitely not be making you know? right so uh and he's just like yeah whatever like you're high on drugs right now you know my brother's cracking up because my brother be ins he instigates he is again so, so uh but no he told them like no like nah like i'm gonna take yeah. him home yeah and then uh let's wait for the swelling like you know wait for the swelling to go down yeah so then the doctor was like well what do you want to do and i was like that's what my brother said like mm -hmm. that's what we're gonna do yeah you know so i was like i don't want to do the surgery so then uh it was like two weeks later. It was like two weeks later. We go back, mm. do x-rays again. I still haven't had any surgery yet. And then they were like, you you need to have surgery or you're going to have like a chicken wing. Wow. Like they were like, your arm's going to be like, like shorter. Wow. And like, it's going to be all bad. So I was like, Shh, all right. Yeah. Did the surgery. Um, like it was like September. Did the mm. surgery, mm. and then uh, yeah, just been on the rehab after that, and then obviously at that point I was like, dude, my career's done. Like, uh. I didn't know what I was gonna do, you know. So, um, went through like a depressive state, mm. you know, mm. um, and it was bad. Like really, uh, all I wanted, all I wanted to do, man, was eat brownies and eat, just eat, wow. you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So uh, I went from uh, athletic. 245 250 wow uh up to like i think the heaviest i was was like 320 330 wow wow yeah and it was like it was bad mm. so then um just kept going up in weight and then um uh, so that was like 18 that was like 18 19 okay. i was like you know what i'm gonna go ahead and start uh oh you know no Somebody told me, oh, I went to go coach. I started, I, I did like one year of coaching at a high okay. school. And I was okay. like, so I'm like, I don't, I don't even know if I want to do this. Like, I still want to play ball. Yeah. But I just don't have like the, the mentality. I'm sorry, rewind. I went to go try to go back to play. I went to go play oh, you charity went, game. You went to try, you tried to go back. Yeah. So there was a charity game uh, in uh, Sacramento. Wow. And I kept freezing up and I just kept getting smacked. Like guards were hitting me because I play linebacker. So mm -hmm. the guards are hitting me left and right. I'm just like, dude, what? Like, why am I like, I'd get to the ball and freeze and then I'm getting smacked to the side. Like, yeah. what? What is going on? Yeah, yeah. I just had, I just started having like PTSD. Type yeah, PTSD. You know, yeah. In the games. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I guess it's time to hang up the cleats. So then that's what kind of started the, the like, 
the like depressive state, you know, a little bit. Um, but I would never like I to this day like it wasn't just until like recently I'm like I definitely was I definitely hadn't been depressed like in the very beginning, you know, mm. of all this. Um, and then so yeah, so that happened, and then 18, 19, 19 came around, and then I did one year I did like not even a full season of football coaching at the, one of the high schools. Mm.